It's a skin condition that's hard to ignore. And now a potential breakthrough for vitiligo, a disease that takes a physical and emotional toll. New Center 5's Jessica Brown with the trial underway in Boston. That could be life changing. This is all pigment loss. This is all pigment loss. And I was about your, your complexion. And the rest of my family is the same, you know, same shade as you. Barbara Hamilton walks us down memory lane up until the age of 25 when she was diagnosed with vitiligo. Part of your face is, is blotchy, you know. And sometimes it's really, you get a butterfly face, you know, a raccoon around the eyes. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease that kills off the pigment cells in the body, sometimes only leaving a few traces of what used to be. You know, this is the color that's left. Doctors told her there's no cure. We suffer with depression, we suffer, suffer mentally, emotionally. Valerie Molyneux is the president of Vit Friends, a vitiligo support group she founded since there wasn't much support around when she was diagnosed. 20 years ago, seeing a small dot just on my left thumb and rubbed it, nothing would happen and, oh, wait a minute, it's on this hand. And you rubbed it, it wouldn't go away. And she says with no options that worked for her, it took a serious toll emotionally. I had just bought myself a brand new silver Kia and I thought it best to drive it to Jamaica Bond. It was not for fun and games. There's water there. I didn't want to live with blotchiness or patches or, I wanted my milk chocolate back. Unfortunately, we can't cure vitiligo, but we can better control it. Dr. David Rosemarin, the vice chair of education and research at Tufts Medical Center says, they're now in trials of an FDA approved cream that could bring back the pigment that vitiligo strips away. And this medicine tells the immune system to calm down and stop attacking the pigment cells. It then allows the pigment cells to repopulate and migrate back into those white patches over time. Dr. Rosemarin says they are already seeing incredible results. About half the patients who use the cream at the year mark will get 75% or more of the pigment back on the face and 50% or more of the pigment back on the whole body. Barbara and Valerie say this is the breakthrough they've been waiting decades for. To hear this news, words cannot begin to express because I've had stories from mothers talking about the suffering of their children. Any mother would want a cure for their child. And so here's this amazing groundbreaking opportunity first in the history of this condition. A sign of hope for many who've been struggling in their own skin. But for Valerie, she says she's come too far to turn back now. It took me a while to get accustomed to this girl. I really can't touch this now. I love her just the way she is. And so I would encourage, support, help, pay for anyone that needs the treatment. But I'm going to ride life out this way. You know, it's important to note that vitiligo is not contagious. It's more common if you have a family member who has the disease, but doctors say it can really happen to anyone at any time. The trials for the treatment called Opsalera are still happening, so there's still more to learn. But Dr. Rosemarin says some patients saw improvements within two to three months. The next big hurdle, he says, seeing if insurance will eventually cover the treatment. I'm Jessica Brown, WCVB News Center 5. And joining me now is Valerie. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks, Thanks for having for being me here. Thanks for being sure. here. So um, much has changed since you were first diagnosed. Tell us a bit more about your story. Well, as mentioned in the Jessica's um, Jessica Brown's piece, I suffered two years of depression, trying to function through life, raising children, going to work, um, involved in my community neighborhood uh, meetings and, and church. Um, I had a role as a leader, and so um, most of that I, I took a step back from. Mm -hmm. So it was, but I tried to smile and tried to give the impression as though things were well, but it was not. Mm -hmm. You know, um, one of the ways you dealt with it by um, forming a focus group mm -hmm. for people mm -hmm. who have vitiligo. Tell us about that journey. Absolutely. Um, when I asked my doctor, where can I go? How will I see people that look like what I'm potentially going to look like? He said there was nothing. Mm -hmm. And so I prayed and I cried and I prayed and I cried and I heard 
audible words, you can do this. And I said, me, I could do what? And I grabbed a pen and I was just flowing and I wrote a whole business plan in no time. And with that, I got on, I was new to Facebook and typed on Facebook, if you have this condition, would you meet me at the Dorchester Bowling Alley? Mm. I tell you, Karen, they came from New York City. Wow. They came from Connecticut and of course my mass family. Uh, and so what a beautiful time we had. July 2009 was the launch of my Villager support group. And it's been all these years later. From that, some powerful things had happened mm -hmm. because 2015, speaking to Glory, um, Gloria Fox's staff, I said, "What it's like to rally on the Capitol, on the State House steps?" Yes, you've been doing so much. Oh, my, one trying. of the things you've been working on is a documentary about the journey and, and the struggle. Um, what was the inspiration for that, and how is the documentary coming? Well, I tell you. Um, I, was, I just attended um, a filming in, in Cambridge and went up to just congratulate the team, the staff, the producers. When I said to, to the producer, listen, I have a skin condition. I would love for one day a story to be told. And she called me within a month. I ignored the call. She called the second month. I ignored the call. But the third, three strikes. And, you know, I took that call and she said, I'd like to do a story on you. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, really? And it ended up being, I don't like doing anything alone. The uh, documentary is going to focus on five women. who Five are... women. Mm -hmm. I said, I got a team. She said, I said, are you good with a team? She said, come on, let's do this. And so for Minnesota, Connecticut, North Carolina, New York, and myself, the leaders of my groups are with me. We should say that uh, Tanya Magras is the producer. Tanya Magras, yes. Magras, and so we have to give Tanya a shout out. She couldn't be here with us today. Yes. But what a wonderful thing you're doing, offering support. Uh, for people like yourself. My grandmother had uh, vitiligo, so I, I understand exactly when I heard I was what touched. you're going through. Yes, you, yeah. can, you, you can relate. I sure can. Yes, thank I sure you. can. Valerie, thank you so much for being here today. It is a pleasure being with you. And keep doing what you're doing. I I'm, I'm won't stop. I can't stop. I must continue. Okay. Educating and advocating is Excellent. my job. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at CityLine5. And you can follow me on Twitter at Karen Holmes Ward. Have a great afternoon.